Well, hey, you guys, welcome to um, a cardio kickboxing workout that's gonna kick our buns and gear in just a short amount of time. So I have a set of one pound weights. You can use light weights, you can use boxing gloves, water bottles, or nothing at all. You can just use your own mental resistance. All right, are you guys ready? Let's go. Psalm 61 verse two says, from the ends of the earth, I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Today, right in this moment, we can invite Jesus into our hearts, into our minds, our souls, our bodies, into this workout and find rest. Find rest for our souls as we fire ourselves up in the Lord. So you guys, we are alive today, not to waste the day, but to get out of our comfort zone and to be fruitful for the kingdom. Exercise is a gift from God to help us do that. Do not underestimate the power of a good workout because God created our bodies and it's his idea that we move them. So I'm so proud of you for joining. Now right here, just jab, jab. Just continue to take a step do what you can. If you have to walk in place at any time or just lower the intensity, do that. If you want a harder workout, increase the intensity, as simple as that. Now, cross, cross. I want you to stand tall and pivot that hip. And eight, seven. So no matter what you're going through, God is in control. Now give me two on the right. Now switch, two left and he knows you by name. He knows the numbers of hairs on your head. He's a personal, good, heavenly father. And he is here for us today, not single. Let's go, hua, hua. You are an overcomer in Christ. Now two, two again, two again, two. Now hook, you are fit. You are fully loved by God. You are I, you are in Christ. You are secure and completely seen. You are T, you are transformed from the inside out by Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit to go transform your world. The Bible says that you are the light of the world. Don't be silent, don't be quiet, be bold for Christ. And now uppercut. Romans 1.16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes. All right, now alternate our knee and let's take the elbow. Cross it. So we're going to get that core involved. To lower the intensity, you're not going to lift the knee that high. Now let's take the arms a little bigger, like a figure eight. Exercise is a gift. How many times can I say that? Well, I'm, not, I'm never gonna stop saying it because no matter what age, and as, especially as we get older, we need it. But the younger that we can start, the better, but it's never too late. I've had women in their 60s and even 70s start an exercise program, and it was never a part of their life before. Now hamstring, you're never too old or too young to start. All right, that's it. Curl up that heel now. Add a jab. Good, four more. Three. Now give me two on the right, two left. Good, go. One, two, keep that elbow in. And one, two, two again. Now we're gonna just tap side to side. Tap, tap, tap. Push that leg out. Now we're gonna add that hook. So it's a 90 degree angle on the elbow and we're not up here by the face. Face, make sure you're not shrugging your shoulders. Keep it low, keep it tight. Squeeze your bum. Come on, eight more. Seven. Oh, I see you working. I hope you're breathing now. Now leg abduction. Push the leg away from the midline of the body. Push. Now we're gonna press overhead. Eight, seven, can you lengthen? Lift taller, keep that belly button in and march it out. And march it wide. Now if you kinda sorta try, you kinda sorta get a good workout. There's always room to grow, but be excellent. Good attitude and good effort. Now uppercut, 
singles. That's it, uppercut. Now double up, quick, quick. Four more, three. Back to singles, go. One, two, three. Really work that core, bend your knees. Now double up, go right, left. Turn that hip. And four, three. Now march it out. Now knee up. So it's one, two, three, right knee. Now left knee, Get guard up, keep it up. One, two, three. Bring that knee up to you. And we're gonna warm up through the quads and the hamstrings now. Three and a kick. Let's kick hip level or lower. You can flex or point your toe. Kick. Awesome. Every step counts. But here's a very important tip. Never throw out your leg. Use your muscles. Kick it. Even if your hamstrings are tight, just kick low. But be purposeful, be intentional. Now three marches and abduction with a bent knee. Sweep it up. Sweep it. So warming up that outer glute and get that inner thigh stretched. Now we're gonna add a round kick, boom. Remember to modify, how do you do that? You kick low. This kick, you bring that foot around. Point your toes, it's called a round kick and you would kick with the top of the shoe or the shin. Boom, to modify, low, kick like that. Kick low. Come on, a little snap kick to the side like that. Two more. And march it out. We are gonna be doing the side kick a little later, so I want you to tap and then bring the knee up. We're gonna go slow. Tap and bring the knee up. Tap and bring the knee up. So now we're gonna turn the hip in the direction of the kick. One more. And we're gonna flex the left foot. Here we go. Now kick it out. Boom. Push with the heel. Four more. So you have right tap, left kick. Two more. And one. March it out. Now on that side kick, you, the, the sole of your shoe or the arch of the foot is parallel to the floor. Now go slow, left and lift. Tap and find your balance. Tap, find your balance. One more and here we go. Side kick right here. So you tap, push with that heel. Bring the knee and push. So it's not a straight leg like that. You bring the knee and push. Two more. Now jab it out quick, right, left. Now double up. Now singles, eight, seven. We're not up here. Keep those elbows close to the rib cage. Now turn out the toes and go low. So we have a horse stance, feet are wide. We're not here, a little wider. Come on, four more, three. Can you go a centimeter lower? Equal weight between both feet. Really press through your heels to activate your glutes and inner thighs. March it out. Okay, we have one more kick. We're gonna march three and a back kick. Here we go. One, two, three, left. Right, now you have the option of looking over your shoulder, which is harder. Or you can keep your eyes forward and push. Now on this one, you have the option too to rotate your hip or keep it straight back like that. One more and march it out. All right, you guys, quick drink of water and shuffle. Let's get that cardio in. Awesome job, you guys. Woo, keep it up. Come right back. Okay, you guys, couple things. If you would like a list of my health transformation checklist for free, go to the notes, the description, and email me, okay? So crosstrain180 at gmail.com. I'll have a link where you can um, join, or you know you can get that freebie, all right? 
The second thing is I have a Warrior Up podcast episode coming out today. It's called the Warrior Up podcast with Amy Smith. It's faith and fitness, Jesus at the center. Okay, right foot in front and jab cross. All of that's in the description. It is such a blessing for me to have you in my life and to be able to speak into you and go again, however I can help. I'm here to just motivate you forward in Christ. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five. And maybe you need to lose the weight. Jab, cross, hook. Maybe there's just weight that's holding you down. And you know I'm not talking about physical weight. And again, jab, cross, hook. We all do, we all need that clean in the soul. We need God to do a sweep in the soul. We can always be better for God, but it's not about that, it's about surrender. It's about a heart surrender after the Lord. But real faith moves. So let me know how I can help you, how I can pray for you. That's it. Okay, now jab cross, just jab cross. Now jab cross hook, jab cross hook, jab cross hook, just jab cross. Now jab cross hook, you'll get it. Just keep punching, every punch counts, jab cross only. Turn that back hip, now jab cross hook, jab cross hook, again. Now just jab it. Now jab cross hook, jab cross hook. Jab, cross, now left knee, pull, pull, pull. Just tapping the ball of the foot, pull. Now kick it right, two, three, four, five, six. Now listen up, left knee and a right kick. Back knee, front snap. Now you can snap it or you can flex it and do a hip thrust, like that. Knee, kick. Let's do four more sets. Four, whoa. Come on, really work your body. You don't have to kick high, remember that. Now jacks. Now if you don't wanna do jumping jacks, you're just gonna tap out like that. Eight more, seven, five. Put your right leg in front, jab cross. Jab cross hook. Back knee, front kick. Do it again, stay here. Two more. Last one. Jab, cross, jab, cross, just stay here. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Back knee, front kick. Snap it or thrust it. Two more. Last one. Now jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now squat out. Squat out. Now squat, side kick. Boom, side, squat. Or that's a side kick, go! Oh, squat, and kick, keep going. Squat, kick, one more. Guess what we're gonna do? Optional, go faster. Squat, kick, side kick. You can add a leap or not. Come on, down. Cool, get that heart rate up. Awesome job, one more. Now shuffle. Okay, heart rate should be elevated. Put your left leg in front, fighter stance, jab cross. Just stay here. Get this side. Come on, jab cross, jab cross. Feel that core, it's working. All right, jab cross hook. Jab, cross, hook. So it's left, right, hook. Left, right, hook. We'll get it. There's always room to grow. Just don't give up. Keep working it. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, that hook is close. Boom, work your hips. Move your hips. Come on, two more. Put it together. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Keep it up. Now jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Just jab, cross. There's eight of these. Now jab, cross, hook. And again. Jab, cross. Just jab, cross. That's it. Come on. 
Jab, cross, hug. Work hard, what you put into this, you get out of it, jab, cross only. Jab, cross, hug. Okay, ready? Right knee repeater, stay here, eight, seven, six, come on, pull it, pull, pull. Now left leg, kick it, eight, seven, we're not throwing out that kick, kick strong. Keep your guard up, back knee for four, two, now kick it, four, three, two, right knee, four, three, and kick it left, boom. Now two knees, now kick it, two knees, and kick it, now singles, pull, kick, pull, kick, right, left, now just shuffle, shuffle, all right, jab cross in four, four, three, jab cross, come on, left, right, jab cross hook, that's it, right knee, left kick, again, now punch it, jab, cross, jab, cross, now jab, cross, hook, back knee and a kick, back knee and a kick, Jab cross, come on, left, right. Jab cross, hook. Get that heart rate up, work. Back knee and a kick. Now shuffle. All right, ready? Jacks. Now you can always tap side to side. Or you can push overhead. Eight more. Seven. Five. Okay, so we're gonna squat out to the left slope. Slow, slow, slow. Now listen up. Slow to the left, slow side kick. Slow squat, kick it. Two more. Now you can stay at this pace or you can pick it up. Get ready. All right, let's go. Down, up, two, up. Come on, work. Sit back in those hips. Four more. Three, two, one, shuffle. All right, a quick drink of water. Awesome, guys. So close to the end. I enjoy smiling, but I promise you, I gotta push myself to choosing joy. It is a choice. We can control our attitude and our effort. And I am not a naturally positive person. I'm really not. It is Jesus, 100%. I can be more melancholy, look for the worst, be very serious. And even though this is serious, God wants us to enjoy life. He wants us to let the hard things go. Trust Him, surrender it to Him. Find joy in the moment, find joy in today. The uncertainty of tomorrow is in His hands. He is in control. That's how we can choose joy, trust Him. He's a good father. He's a good father. Okay, you guys, couple more. We're gonna go jab, jab, cross. So put your right leg in front. Now I am gonna have to turn to the corner or else I'm gonna hit the back wall. So I will prep it here, but I want you to tuck this in your mind. So it's right, right, left. Right, right, left. Now you're in fighter stance. You wanna make sure that you can pivot the back hip. Come on, really chisel and sculpt. On your punches, you don't want to extend 100%, so we're not locking out the elbow like that. Come from the shoulder, it's a snap, snap, recoil. Snap, snap, recoil with the front arm while the back arm powers. Okay, this is the move. Now the next move is a front kick, back kick, so it's right, left, right, left. How do you modify? You kick low and you don't have to look over your back shoulder. But keep your guard up. Front kick, back kick. Let's do it again. Another modification would be a knee up and a kick. A knee up and a back kick. Four more. Hua. Hua. All right. Double jab and across. Front kick, back kick. Front, double jab and across. Front kick, back kick. Double jab, cross. Kick, back. Double jab, cross. Kick, back. Four more sets. Boom. Come on. Stay strong. Boom. Kick it. Double jab and across. Boom. 
Last one. Okay, now right here, give me a fast feet run. Now, speed back. Elbows are up, but shoulders aren't shrugged. If you just wanna do the upper body, just do the upper body with a little bounce in that sumo. If you wanna use those feet, come on, tap dance. Run it out. Eight, seven, five. Come on, speed. Shuffle. Whew. High fives. Whew. Okay, one more side and we're done. Eight, seven, come on, every move counts. Stay in it. Train your brain to stay in it. Left foot, jab, jab, cross. Active recovery. Chisel that upper body. Oh yeah, I'm breathing. Hope you are too. If you're not, come on, move it. Make it work for you. But be excellent. Progress over perfection, but how do you get progress? Well, you gotta push. You gotta push a little. Jab, jab, cross. And showing up is a victory, so you guys are so proud of you for showing up. Now keep showing up. Four more. Double jab, cross, tuck this away. Now left kick, right kick, front kick, back kick. Front kick, come on, no sloppy kicks. Protect your joints. Yeah, remember you don't have to look over. You could do a knee lift and a back kick. Eight, seven, keep up your courage. Come on, work, dig deeper. Three, two, all right, put it together. Double, double jab and across. Front kick, back kick. Double jab and across. And kick on the angle for me. But listen to my cue. Left, left, right. Now kick it. Double jab, cross. Kick it. Left, right. Double jab, cross. Kick it. Two more. Double jab, cross. Kick. Left double. Kick it. Now shuffle. Woo. All right, we're gonna go to the fast speed. And now we're gonna pull the uppercuts in. It's gonna feel awkward. Just move, come on. Develop a rhythm. Eight, seven. I know it's a long eight, but dig, dig. Four more, three. Come on, speed. One, awesome. March it out. All right, there's nothing wrong with giving praise to God. Opening up our mouth and thanking him. So Father, we thank you for this time together. We thank you that you are present with us in the very moment we're doing this. You see us, you love us, you give us strength and endurance. Now tap and reach. You guys, awesome. Now, I have a bonus ab section and core. It's gonna be about seven minutes, five to seven. And to get that workout. Join my Warrior Up Fit Camp On Demand subscribers. Family there. Description in the show notes or, in the, or down below. Or go to crosstrain180.com. Join the Warrior Up Fit Camp On Demand. You're going to get so much, so many benefits. And I get to coach you daily without bugging you. All right. Meal plans. Inspiration from God's word. <sighs> Keeping you focused, accountable as much as you want to be. But <sighs> that's where we grow. When we have a plan, we have structure. All right, turn it. And you're going to get workouts like these. I have 280 plus Christ-centered workouts in the library. Push your heel down. You can choose from the library your favorite category or I can create that perfect plan where you're getting total body and you're getting the cardio and you're getting the weights and the body weight and you're having fun and you're sculpting lean muscle. And by the way, it's so important to weight train as we get older that you're not gonna bulk up 
Not at all, you're actually going to decrease body fat. You're gonna build lean muscle, change your body composition, and you're going to have strength and injury-free bodies. Tuck the hip for the life race, no matter what age. You gotta get the weight training in. All right, now sit back. 150 minutes of cardio a week, recommended by the American Heart Association, where you're getting your heart rate out of your comfort zone. And we also have a lot of stretching in the library. A lot of great stretching and mobility workouts to make you strong and fit and flexible, front, back, side to side, top to bottom. God is good. All right, switch. And you just can't outgive him. So every time that you show up, you're diligently seeking him to be your best. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He's good. Even a mustard seed of faith matters to him. All right, reach up and over. You guys, awesome. Ooh, come back every Wednesday for free workouts and switch. Be, be sure to share these too. Check out the Warrior Up podcast and for that free, that download of uh, my favorite health list checklist, go to, to the description. All right, guys, roll it up. Have a wonderful day. You're awesome. Keep it moving. Woo, celebrate the victories though today. Have an awesome day, you guys. See ya.